Hi, I'm Barry Little. Hello, I'm Eli Little. We're sitting here at my farm in Castlewood, South Dakota. We've been farming together for about 10 years now and putting a lot of focus on soil health. We grow corn, soybeans, and wheat uh, with a little bit of oats. And we raise beef cows, sheep, hogs, and chickens. We've started growing more small grain because we can integrate um, cover crops into that more easily. And uh, we're all about getting livestock on as many acres as we can every year so that they can benefit soil health. South Dakota was exceptionally wet in 2019. You go through years of drought and you go through years like last year where you get extra moisture. We were able to plant over 90% of all of our fields, uh, which was a little unusual around here, and we attribute that to the soil health. Having uh, soil structure and doing no-till you kind of smooth out those years. You're, you're not as stressed from drought. We feel like if we, if we get the moisture that God gave us and leave it where it's supposed to be, we're, we can get through most any year. You're holding soil structure in the wet years. We were able to get a lot more of a percentage of our, our crops in last year than the conventional people. So, um, and we don't see near the stress in the middle of summer that a lot of people are seeing. It was three years ago that we had a devastating hailstorm, and uh, just about all of our soybeans had to be replanted and we had a lot of corn that was lost. But to us that was an opportunity to plant some cover crops um, on the 1st of July, which grew up to be fantastic cow feed in December and January of the next year. Every year I put together a cash flow uh, plan and, and every year I manage to reduce my input costs. We think we have um, better fertility and better water infiltration and uh, we're starting to cut back on, on fertilizer inputs, which is helping the bottom line. Most of my conventional ranching neighbors uh, don't see the point and I don't think they want to think it through because they like doing what they do. I can think of a couple neighbors their stress level if it starts getting dry it goes through the roof. I don't think there's near near as many variables for me to worry about that there used to be. I think I'm more realistically confident now than I was then. I, I see the way that we're doing things is, is on the right path. We know we can still get the yields we want at a lower population and, um, and doing the, the low till or no till, it, it helps to, to just, we can get by with a lot less rain and we can buy, get by with a lot extra rain. I don't think there'd be room on this farm for me if we aren't, weren't doing what we're doing right now. And, my thought is, why, why don't we all control our own destiny here? It's a cliche, but I'm living the dream. Um, I got three granddaughters that live two miles away that are a joy to have around, and I'm farming with my son, Eli. Uh, 